Jackie, I can't tell you how excited I am to get an opportunity to connect with you. As I was sharing with you before, I was so, so grateful to connect with you the first time. And you touched me so deeply in how vulnerable you were and how open you were in sharing where you were at in your life that by the time our first conversation ended, I knew for sure I wanted to help you. So thank you for being here. Uh, I'm so happy to get a chance to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. And I want to thank you again for your help with everything. Um, that time that we met um, just over a year ago and connected, I was at such a, a low point in my life and I couldn't identify why. And having somebody um, that I could, I could connect with um, to really help me understand what, like where I was going and what I was doing and um, I'm so grateful that you came into my life. You came into my life just when I was at rock bottom, and I'm so grateful. Okay. So grateful, Burn. So it's, grateful. It's, it's, it's mutual, my dear. So tell me, tell me how. Can you give me more specifics in terms of what was going on in your life that prompted you to reach out for help that first time? Um, I suppose the only way that I can describe it is I'd completely lost direction. Um, I was just like um, bumbling along every day without any real purpose. Um, I felt like I had a huge gaping hole in me and I couldn't fill it. I didn't know how to make myself whole again. And I lost who I was as a person. I felt very unsure about myself um, and very sure about my relationships and very unsure about what kind of life I wanted to be leading. Um, so when I saw your video, actually you popped up on my Facebook and I was so intrigued by your message and I didn't know what else to do. I, I thought I would tried everything and then you popped, like I said, you popped up on my Facebook and um, I wanted to find out more um, and I watched your video and that I thought, it's a, a, my gut feeling was you need to connect with this, you need to connect with Burn, he can help you. And uh, so that was the beginning of me um, Try, yeah, getting in contact with you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, what, uh, what do you feel was, what was, what were your thoughts before we started doing this regarding men and relationships? I mean, what was going on specifically regarding relationships with guys for you that where you said, well, love is also something besides finding myself, I want to find a powerful relationship. Yeah, um, I'd had a series of relationships that were very dysfunctional. Um, the same, I was meeting the same kind of men over and over again and um, very, um, very negative relationships that at the time I, I didn't realize how negative they were. Um, I'd had, for as long as I can remember, um, relationships where I've gone over and above to try and please the other person hmm. doesn't matter about whether I'm happy or not but trying so hard to make sure that they are okay um, and that they're happy and what can I do to help them and kind of giving everything and giving everything to the point where there was no more of me left um, so having so many relationships where that it was just so negative and like I said I didn't realize at the time how much of an impact that was having that 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 was having on me and when I met you burn I was actually in a horrific relationship that at the time I did not realize how how much of a impact that was having on me because at the time I was like I felt I felt even though I, I didn't know who I was and I was really struggling, I thought that I could handle that kind of relationship. Mm. But actually, he was just sucking every good ounce out of me. He was, he was ripping me bare mm. and making me feel so small. Um, and I just got to the point where I was like, something's got to give, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know... I don't know what, I just don't know what to do. 
Mm. So, and I think the just the relationships that kept repeating themselves. So I'd meet a new person and think he was great, and then he'd turn out to be horrible. And I'd try to do everything to please him and to make him happy, and it just went horribly wrong. So he would finish with me, and then I'd pick myself back up again and find another relationship that was equally as negative and ab ab abusive. Sure. More verbally abusive, never never um, violence, but really negative um, verbal abuse. Okay. Yeah, horrible. Uh, and well... like psychological abuse as well, where they try to make you feel that you're not worthy. Uh -huh. you know so what, what would you say were maybe a couple of the biggest breakthroughs and realizations that took place when we worked together that allowed you to turn this around i think um well the number one thing was to start with This is what I've thought for the, you know, for as long as I can remember that everything to make me happy is an external thing. So um, everything, the relationships I'm in, with, you know, it's all to do with them, like I've just mentioned. But you helped me to really concentrate on um, making me happy. It's an ex it's an internal thing. It's not an external thing, and some of the activities that you you I was listening to your videos and and everything and your your guidance and some of the the activities that you got me to do I felt really uncomfortable doing because you were taking me out of what I thought was my comfort zone and but I also was desperate to make that change so I I started Um, I was determined to follow what you were saying, just absolutely determined to follow it through. Every single, everything, everything that you said. Um, and it made me realize that actually I'm a lot stronger than what I thought I was because I, you were getting me to identify areas that, um, taking me out of my comfort zone and what, what I thought I felt safe in. Um, so I realized that that I had to work on myself. Mm. Um, so that was absolutely the number one thing was realizing that when you're taken out of your comfort zone, it can be a really, it's a positive thing. It's a really worthwhile thing to do. And working on yourself first because you need to put yourself first so that you can then give to other people mm. and give to other people by setting those boundaries so that you recognize what is healthy and what is good for you. Um, so I think those are the two things that really I like so eye-opening to me. Um, yeah. And I've continued to work on since I met you, Burn. Every day is, is, a, is a new experience to learn. And I've really embraced what you gave me and I've now made it my own. You know, so I feel completely in control and so happy inside. Sometime in, in the middle of us working together, there was a situation where you had to let go of someone who was really negative in your life. And it was a very painful decision because there were like, he, he was a person that was kind to you sometimes, very mean some other times. And the times he was mean, he was like very mean. So yeah. how you made that very courageous decision throughout our work to end that and open up to more possibilities. How did you feel once you were able to get yourself to take action on something that felt like such a hard thing to do? Um, once I'd made that decision to um, end it with him, um, I mean, it was, it was hard because when he was, when he was nice to me, it was the most fantastic thing. So I could really see the kind of person that he could be. Um, and then, when, like you said, when it was, when he was, oh my gosh, it was like having a split personality and sure. it, it was exactly so, it was. <laughs> gosh, it was awful. But I, I, once I made that decision and I finished it, I mean, it was hard because he kept getting in contact with me and he kept dragging it out. Um, 
But I felt so empowered and so liberated that I had made that decision for once to walk away and I knew that it was the right thing for me um, and it it just it made me feel like I could move forward and because I'd done so much work on myself and really discovering about myself um, and and doing all the activities that you set me that was that gave me the inner strength to be able to move forward um, and I realized as well that I needed to set more healthy boundaries as well that actually worked for me rather than the other person mm. um, and that's those are boundaries with um, with friends with family members as yeah. well so I've done this huge knock-on effect with all of my relationships um, so Ending that one relationship, that one really negative relationship, then springboarded me into setting healthy boundaries with every relationship and walking away from some friends that were negative as well and, you know, just setting powerful, um, healthy boundaries that for me, you know, and since then my relationships have really improved all all like on all spectrums you know mm. um so i'm very grateful <laughs> that i think that was really um con contributing to me feeling like a big part like this hole was in me within me True. um i didn't uh, healthy boundaries yeah yeah so how, how tell me talk to me about the relationship that you're in right now tell me about your guy and tell me how Tell me what's going on there. <laughs> so we met um, November of last year. Mm. Um, at the time, I was absolutely doing what you were saying. I was going out. I was dating all the time. I was meeting so many new men. Um, I was ending... Um, so I, once I, I knew that um, a guy wasn't for me, that was it, I was on to the next. So there was no, before I would have kept them going and kept them going and just, oh, well, maybe, but no, I was very like to the point and very direct. And I, I took on your, what you were saying about meeting new people. And um, my, my the, the, the fantastic man that I've met now, um, he wouldn't normally, he wouldn't have been my normal, type True. um he's not somebody that i would have really have gone for in terms of because i was doing this all through internet dating mm. um and just getting out there and just meeting new people and meeting new people and every spare evening i was going on a date um so he isn't really somebody that i would have um met before um, but we had such a lovely time and I saw a real quality in him that I hadn't seen before. Um, and I was very intrigued to get to know him more and he, he, he was very intrigued to get to know me as well. So straight away, we could both tell that um, we wanted to see each other again. And But I was still... Um, dating other people I, like I wanted to keep my options open and, and just kind of see where this was going to head and um, I mean it's just been fantastic we have such a lovely time together I feel very calm and and at peace in his company um, he's very different to the other men that I've met, like I said, and it just seems to be working. And I think the main thing that has really become apparent is that this is easy. Hmm. This is really easy. There's no second guessing. There's no um, doubt at all from either of us um, in terms of like, in previous relationships, it's always felt, 
really hard work to see them and really hard work to fit in with their lives and me bending over backwards yeah. um, to make it work. Whereas this with him is, it's so easy. And I'm, I was shocked to start with because I'd never experienced anything like this. It's so easy. You didn't, you didn't have the drama, basically. You have somebody who's interested in you, who's taking the right yeah. steps, who's showing up for you instead of waiting for you to show up for him. Absolutely. And, and helping you feel safe in yeah. his presence, right? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Small difference. <laughs> no drama at all. And that is really empowering as well. You know, it's kind of helped me even more to realize the kind of relationships that I want to have in my life. Mm. Um, and again, that goes with friends and family as well. You know, family members, it, relationships can be so easy. Mm. And I've, I, I can't remember the last time that I've experienced that with a, with a man. So it's, it's going so well. Um, I've just moved in with him. Um, so we're now living together and that is the most wonderful thing ever. And we're having such a fantastic time. What would you say is the best part of living together? Um, I think definitely spending more time together. So we're now at the stage where um, I feel very comfortable with him seeing me without my makeup on. I feel very comfortable just being around him and he's doing his um, his hobbies is and his thing and I'm doing my thing so we're still very much separate people and we still very much do our own thing but seeing him every day and knowing that I'm coming home to him mm. is so lovely and and like he's just gone to work now and he's like I'll see you later and I'm I, he, he tells me that he's really looking forward to seeing me and he's really looking forward to spending time with me at the weekend and he'll he'll say to me things like oh so so let's have a date night where should we go on our date night and like he he's making the effort and I'm making the effort without it being hard work hmm. everything just comes to at, at ease <laughs> so the other thing that's so nice is working together as a team you know we're both we're like i said we're both doing our own separate things but we're coming together and like preparing an evening meal together and we're doing it together as a team hmm. um even things like chores around the house we're, we're doing it as a team yeah. And that's really, really nice that we're able to just work together and also compromising as well. So we're very good at communicating and very good at being truthful to each other as well. And that's something that I haven't experienced before. I've always felt like I've ne needed to keep things to myself. Yeah. Walking Where with else, right? So that they, they're not unhappy. Right now you can be up front because the guy, yeah. he's there for good. I mean, he, he wants this. <laughs> so. Yeah. And he can be honest with me. So if I've done something that he, that he doesn't like, then he will tell me. And that's, but without, he's not digging at me. He's not getting at me. He's just very truthful. He's not your enemy. He just wants to say, hey, he's not, I'm not cool with this, but not, you're not wrong for doing it. He's just like, yeah. It's something you're doing versus who you are. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Again, it's always those healthy boundaries, you mm. know. It, I mean, gosh, Burn, it's it's just going from strength to strength. And I'm, I'm very happy, very, very happy. But I'm very happy in myself as yeah. well. That's, that's why it's working so well, you know. Uh, so I have a final question for you is, uh, a lot of women are going to see this and say, well, that's awesome for her. Look at her. She's beautiful. I, I can't do the same shit or it, it, will it work for me? So what will you say to someone right now who needs the work, who's maybe feeling there's no good guys out there and it's never going to happen for me, but maybe has the inkling of saying, well, what if this could work, but is really scared of making that step? What would you say to that woman right now? I mean, I was scared. I was, I was so scared of what I was going to find. I think that's that's the thing you've got this gut feeling telling you that things aren't right and that you you're worth more but you you don't know how to go about finding that 
Um, and I was scared because I'd lost myself mm -hmm. and I was, I didn't know the next step. I was so clouded by everything that I didn't know the next step. Um, I didn't feel like I could turn to my friends or my family. And so I didn't feel like I had anybody else to turn to. And so having the opportunity to, to work with you, Bern, and for you to come into my life, oh my gosh, there was no going back. And even though the activities, yes, they took me out of my comfort zone, but I was so willing to make that change. I was so willing to see things differently. Mm. I wanted, I wanted it to happen yeah. and putting yourself in that, giving yourself that opportunity, you owe it to yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Mm. No one else is going to make that change for you. So having somebody to guide you through step by step and, and to hold your hand in the beginning when things feel very tough and very rocky having somebody that you know has or is going to be with you gosh burn I was so grateful for that and meeting other ladies as well makes you feel that you're not alone that there is hope and gosh that I my gosh I just I'm just so grateful because I wouldn't be where I am now without having the opportunity burn to work with you. Um, and I recognize that I've had to do the work and that was tough. <laughs> yes. But without your guidance, I would still be bobbling along, not, not feeling like I'm living life and just l losing myself even more. Mm -hmm. So anyone who has lost themselves and given up hope for one, don't give up hope. Don't ever give up hope. You're worth so much more. But go for it. Go for it. Mm. I, I can tell you, uh, Jackie, I've had literally thousands of conversations with women where we're evaluating we're going to work together or not. Uh, there's probably been maybe a handful. I'm taking three, four, five max where three days after the call, I'm still feeling it to the point where like, it's affecting me. Yours is one of them. Oh my God! First, the first time we connected, uh, at the end of the call, you cried with so much. It came from such a deep part of your soul. It was like you couldn't stop crying. And uh, it was a combination of fear and relief. And that moved me so much to, to want to do whatever it took to help you. So I just want to tell you how insanely grateful I am for what you've gone through, for how you've stepped up into this world, for the example you were for all the women in the group and for being an example of possibility, for making, for not, for not giving up and saying, you know what, I can do this and, and having an amazing guy show up in your life as a consequence of your awesome life, not to make your life better, but to enhance the already great life. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here, for, for your awesomeness, my dear. Thank you. And you know what, I will never forget that, our first interaction. And you're right, I felt so heavy and, at such a low point and I cried and cried and cried and to the point where my head hurt and my eyes were so sore but I I needed that I needed that release of emotion because I've been keeping it up for so long and kind of just you know glossing over it and just like sweeping it under the carpet so that was that first interaction with you I mean it will always stay with me for the same reason because it marked the starting point of me moving forward um, and I've cried before but I have never cried like that and you know what I've never cried like that since mm. that was definitely the start of me moving forward thank you <laughs> gosh thank, <laughs> thank you. you exactly when I see something like that when I see Every time I'm having that interaction where somebody says, yeah, let's do this, I, I can think of the time where we're going to do this thing we're doing right now. So this is why I do what I do. See somebody who at some point felt hopeless and now has found herself and found something amazing and someone amazing as a result of that. I mean, it's just the biggest blessing in my life. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>